I'm here with Dorin Amata, Nigerian high jump champion and national record holder at 195. Now, Doreen, you sailed through the qualification at the World Championships. Perfect score, 180, 185, 189, 192. You're one of only five girls who didn't miss a single jump. How do you feel about your performance so far? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy about it. I give all the glory to God. Now, you've had an interesting season so far. You came out fast out of the blocks. You won a couple of meets in the U.S. and in Jamaica. Season's best of 194. Um, but you've had some difficulties since then. Tell us about that. Um, well, what happened was that after New York, I had a bit of, I had an issue with my leg, so I had to stop lifting. So that was what actually affected my season. That was the reason why I decided at, um, after um, Madrid that I wasn't going to go to no meet anymore. I had to cancel all my meets. I was like, I told my agent, I said, it's better I go back home and get ready for the world championship. So that was what. And now it looks like you're ready. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what are you hoping for in the final? Um, can I say maybe get in the mix for a medal, hopefully? By God's grace, that will make me so happy. <laughs> That's my goal, actually. So. Uh, you were in the World Championship final, I believe, four years ago, in 2011. You didn't get a medal then, I think, finished about sixth, eighth place. Okay. Um, what are your hopes? I mean, since then, you've had some challenges in your career. You know, last year, I believe, you didn't come for the national trials, you didn't go to the Commonwealth Games. Have you ever felt like giving up? Well, I've never felt like giving up. The truth, of it, the truth is that challenges will always come. Whatever you do in life, you must face challenges. It's not how well you deal with those challenges. I never felt like giving up, because I know this is my passion, something I love doing. So I never felt like giving up for one minute. Or I, I knew I just had to keep pushing. Can you tell us about some of the challenges you've faced over the last few years and how you've been able to bounce back? Well, um... It's an issue of finance. There's always no money in Nigeria. We all know that. <laughs> no money for anything. So the issue of finance, the issue of facilities, and just to name a few. And uh, where do you trade? Are you based in Nigeria or the US at the moment, or divide your time between the two? And well, I divide my time between the two, both Nigeria and the US. What do you think we can do in Nigeria to support more world-class athletes like yourself? I think they need to make funds available on time. It's not about we getting here and they start giving us training grants here. They need to make funds available for us on time, right? From s September, when we're going to start our build-up, we need to have those funds available so we know what we want to do. As an athlete, I need to say, okay, I don't want to train right now in Nigeria. I need to look for a suitable place to go train. And they need to make that phone available for me to go to wherever I want to go train because I know what I need at that point in time. But all that we don't have in Nigeria, we hear about every other athlete, every other country, they do that. They decide to go, okay, we want to go to Kenya to go train for the long distance. We want to go to, um, like, um, the javelin guy um, in Kenya. He has to leave Kenya and go to Europe to go train. We need that in Nigeria. That's what, that's what we're lacking. What about uh, corporate sponsors? Do you think we need corporate sponsors in Nigeria as well? What should they be doing? We need corporate sponsors. The truth, the truth is that the government can't do it alone. We need corporate sponsors. Like you hear of the US, I, I was once asked a question on the plane <laughs> in the US. They were like, um, so is your, is your picture on any of those series boss back home? And, I, and that's why I said no, <laughs> because that's what they do over there. They sponsor you and they put your picture on the series boss. Now, I understand you've just been signed by Adidas this year. Can you tell us how that came about? I think you're one of the only Nigerian athletes who has reached a level in the world class to be endorsed by one of these show and apparel companies. So tell us about that. Well, yeah, it's true. I got signed by Adidas this year. Um, my agent made it happen, so. How long is it going to be for? So how long can we expect to see you competing on the global stage? Um, it's going to be for three years. Fantastic. That means we still get to see you at the Olympics, the World Championships, and the Commonwealth Games in 2018. Yeah, yeah, by God's grace. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, before you go, very quickly, um, I think you're the only world-class high jumper to come out of Nigeria, maybe in the last 10 years, or maybe even ever. Now, what can we do to support that area of track and field in Nigeria? And what would you like to see happen in your own discipline? Um, we actually need to... There are so many young ladies out there that want to jump. But then, when you don't have this facility, there's nothing you can do. You're doing high jump, you're not going to jump and land on the floor. We need to have facilities. We need to train our coaches. 
So far in Nigeria, I think we just have one, one good high jump coach, which is my coach, Coach Kola. So I think we need to expose our coaches. They need to go to coaching courses and coaching seminars. They need to do that because at the end of the day, they are the ones that are going to bring those athletes out. But then if, they, if, if they're not exposed to what they're doing right now, what, what, what can we do? Okay, final, final question for you. Your PB set many years ago is 195. How high do you think you will have to go in the final to get a medal? Seriously speaking, right now I don't even care how high I jump. A medal is a medal. <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it up to God. And, yeah. But based on this season and the way all the ladies are jumping, I mean, do you think you can see a new PB, a new national record and so on? Yeah, by God's grace. Yeah, I know, I, I know definitely I need to jump a new PB to be on the medal table. You're sounding confident. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like that time of withdrawing from your meets has actually helped you to peak at the right time. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Yeah, Good luck for the final. Yeah, thank you very much.